Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a dot charger. And if you need to find guys the uh, relay for the ignition coils, stay with us. We'll explain where it's located. We'll explain how to test the relays. And if you have problems with ignition coils not working, we'll explain what else could be causing that. So make sure to stay until the end guys. We'll cover very helpful information that can save you quite a bit of money and time. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We show you how to fix practically almost anything guys. Engines, transmissions, we take them completely apart. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. And dot charger, we'll be taking completely apart. Not to say a big word, but probably we'll have close to 500 free repair videos. If you need to buy any parts, tools, relays, fuses, anything for a good price, quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can save a ton of money so let's start on it now so ignition coils relay where it's located now if you look right here this is your main fuse box right this is the fuse box right here so you open it by pressing these two together pull it up pull it on the side right here you see fuses and relays the uh, now the ignition coil relay guys it's actually uh, not called ignition coil relay Okay, it's called something completely, completely different, guys. Uh, and it's a, a special relay. We're going to talk about that. But if you want to see how to test relays, we will put a link in the description of the video below that will teach you how to do that in just a few um, seconds, minutes. You will be able to test your relay and you will know if it's working or not correctly. So the ignition coil relay, guys, it's actually that relay number 63. Okay, this one right here. If you need to buy replacement one for a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can save a ton of money. I recommend even to buy some spare ones to keep in the glove box. If something happens, you can always have a spare relay. It gives you peace of mind, guys. So I always recommend that. If you still have problems with ignition coils not working, we have a special video that explains uh, why, uh, why Dodge Charger uh, does not start. Uh, it will talk about that. We'll have a video about ignition coil replacement. Uh, we'll be taking the whole car apart and show you how to fix pretty much anything. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.